Hey, this is Joe with Graybench Electronics. Welcome back to the Pedal Teardown series where I take apart new and interesting pedals and show you what's going on inside. Today we have the Land Devices HP2. Okay, on the bench today is the Land Devices HP2 made in Oakland, California. So this is a clone of the famous or infamous boutique pedal, the Harmonic Percolator. Uh, that was made by some, uh, I think the person in Wisconsin, it was sort of a small like radio repair shop. Didn't make many units. It was a, it was a, a unit in a straight engine enclosure and instead of potentiometers, like rotary potentiometers, it had slider potentiometers. Interesting device, very few around, very rare, very expensive. Uh, and as such, you're going to have people out there who will want to make clones and sort of modded versions, which as far as I know, that is what the HP2 is here. It's a modded harmonic percolator. Uh, as far as external controls, we have two rotary potentiometers here that are marked H and B. Not sure what those stand for. We also have a switch here, a rocker switch that is labeled with the model number HP2. Land Devices, Oakland, California. A little graphic here. Sort of standard feeling latching foot switch. So probably not uh, relay based. It's probably just mechanical true bypass switching. Quarter inch input and output jacks, top mounted. 9 volt DC jack, the non-switching like Lumberg type. Enclosure size is a 1590BB. It's got sort of a matte blue powder coat. Graphics are silk screen on and black. Small little three millimeter LED over here in the corner. That is it for the externals. Let's go ahead and crack open the pedal. All right, so here is the PCB assembly for the LAN devices HP2. Uh, so starting with the outboard stuff, we have a pretty standard blue three-pole double throw foot switch. It's definitely got the heavier, grittier feel that's sort of standard for the blue foot switches. Uh, the toggle switch is a dial light 570-11. It's, uh, it's interesting, it's got this mounting bracket, uh, which I guess would be necessary for a rocker switch like this. Uh, and you can see there how it's, it's actuating the little plunger inside to switch the switch back and forth. That is being used essentially just as like a single pole, a uh, single throw, connecting these two points together. And what that's doing is it is bringing these two hard clipping diodes in or out of circuit. Um, so you have the output from the circuit coming through this capacitor here. And that is moving up through this trace out here to the balance pot, which is essentially like your volume pot. Uh, and that trace also comes over here to the switch. So when the switch is in one position, it is connecting these diodes to ground. They're already connected to ground on this side. They're just out of circuit through the switch. But when you throw the switch, it makes the connection and then the diodes are in circuit. The quarter inch jacks are the Rian type uh, open frame jacks. The uh, potentiometers are this brand, which I always forget what, what brand this is, uh, but they're you know similar to alpha jacks. 16 millimeter PCB mounted, of course. And the balance potentiometer value is an audio 50K and the harmonics is a audio 100K. Forgot to mention here, the foot switch is on its own little daughter board and it's got a ribbon cable connecting the foot switch to the main PCB here. The clipping diodes are an interesting type, not familiar with these. 
the markings, let me have a look. Yeah, the markings don't mean anything to me. They definitely look old, vintage. I don't, I doubt anybody's making anything that looks like this new. I played the pedal a little bit before I opened it up and there is a pretty significant volume drop so I would expect them to be germanium. In a second we'll test for forward voltage with a multimeter. There's your little Q2, little uh, surface mount silicon transistor. And over here is a germanium transistor or most likely germanium. It looks like one of the Russian types, although interestingly, it appears they have sanded off the markings for the transistor, which is a uh, interesting choice. Not sure why they did that. The information or at least images of these transistors are readily available and you can see the markings on them. So anyway, uh, the uh, have a couple surface mount electrolytics, a 220, which is most likely a filter cap and a 47, which I believe is part of the percolator circuit. The harmonic percolator circuit is a, is a strange circuit. Uh, there's a college professor who did a, of like a video explanation of the pedal. I can't remember who it is, but I'll find it. I'll link in the description. If you're interested in seeing how the harmonic percolator works, go check out that video. Um, it's, it's a strange circuit, pretty cool. Uh, and that video does a good job of explaining it. So let's check and see what the forward voltage is on the clipping diodes. So put my meter in diode mode out of the cathode. So the diode on the left is reading about 0.2 volts forward voltage. Diode on the right is approximately the same, 0.2 volts. So I thought it'd be interesting to compare the HP2 here to the schematic for the harmonic percolator. There's in fact a couple of schematics floating around, uh, but this one uh, as it says here, it's a it's a result of the collaborations between a bunch of different people. There's all their names here: Chuck Collins, Barge Concepts, John Green, Alfonso Hermida, MBET, Dan Norris, Ron of Ron Sound. So, uh, thanks to those people for putting this schematic together. Uh, but like I said, I thought it'd be interesting just to go through the circuit and see where things differ uh, and uh, what things remain the same. So, all right, so we already know that the harmonics pot matches the 100K audio pot there. Uh, so we have some other capacitors here. Uh, I don't have a good in circuit capacitance tester, but I do see we have one capacitor here that appears to be going to ground, another capacitor here for going off to the circuit. So I'll say uh, that at least topology wise, this is correct. Looks like we have a 220. So let's check that value. Yeah. So 220K right there between the uh, Q1 germanium transistor here. It should be a 20K to ground. Can't find the 20K yet, but this one right here is a 91K, which is what we have for the uh, collector resistor for Q2. So that's there. And I do see here, R1 on this board is a, it is a 750K. So that checks out there. This 47K, I'm guessing that's C4 on this circuit. It's actually C4 on both. So we'll check that off. We know Q1 is there. Where is the collector resistor for Q1? Okay, so I see, so I was mistaken. This, this 91K that is here on the board is in fact, that's not this, this is this here, where like this note actually says, they did use a 91K. So this isn't 20K, this is a 91K on the HP2. So this must be this resistor, that one there, which, which is right, because it's going up to the power rail. Let me see if I can measure that value. 47K. Yeah, it looks like a 47. It's hard to read. That's why I'm measuring it. It does look like a 47 something. So this value appears to not be a 91K. This appears to be a 47K. And then here's our 100 nanofarad output cap. And then in this case, this is a fixed connection here, but the diodes are not connected here and here. They're connected uh, together like so, and then it's a switch coming up here to the pedal. So this, th these connections for the diodes here are not there. This goes straight through, and then these two diodes come over here, and that's where your HP2 switch is right there. And then balance is 50K output. All right, I just looked up the code on the Q2 here, the silicon uh, surface mount transistor there and I'll put a picture of it. It's a 1AM, which is a 3904, 2N 3904 NPN BJT. All right, so there you go. That is the Land Devices HP2, a pretty similar clone of the Harmonic Percolator. 
uh, with a couple values changed and the ability to switch out the clipping diodes on near the output. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the pedal back together. All right, that is it for the teardown on the Land Devices HP2. If you have any questions or recommendations for a pedal you want to see on a future teardown episode, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I make a new video. I'm Joe from Gray Bench Electronics. Thank you for watching.